Peter, so what's prompting this sale? Uh, well, SoftBank bought Fortress uh, back in 2017, and the idea at the time uh, was for SoftBank to be able to use some of that investment expertise as it deployed capital from the Vision Fund, the, the, the $100 billion fund that SoftBank had set up to invest in private companies. But during the U.S. regulatory review, CFIUS, um, they were not able to take full control over Fortress. Uh, so they had to see day-to-day -day operations. They couldn't fully integrate the two sides of the business. So it never really accomplished what SoftBank had intended from the beginning. Uh, they ended up uh, looking at the sale in part because that, that didn't work out. Peter, what does this tell us more broadly about the scenarios for private credit at the, credit at the moment? And where do we go from here? Uh, well, SoftBank has been repositioning itself in a number of different uh, ways, and um, you know they probably received most of their global attention because of this big push into venture capital uh, investing over the past few years. Um, and now the company has backed off over the past few quarters. Uh, the founder, Masayoshi Son, has decided not even to appear on the earnings calls. He's left that to his chief financial officer because he really hasn't been able to do the kinds of investments uh, he has in the past. He said that he wants to focus on the IPO of the chip designer arm. And now what, what uh, we're reporting is that it's looking at moving into um, – uh, private credit uh, lending in particular. Uh, the company has been quite careful with its cash uh, most recently because it has pretty pretty heavy debt load. But this would be an opportunity to be a bit more aggressive in terms of what it's going to do with that capital and earn a bit better uh, return.